Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been so long and I'm back with an exciting new series uh, this time around, which is building a real-time iOS application using Socket IO. So let me give you a context of what we are going to do in this uh, tutorial series. The list is pretty long and uh, I have no idea how much uh, episodes it's going to take to actually cover the whole thing. Um, so here is the list what we are going to try to cover in this tutorial series. Let's, let's do that now. So first thing first, uh, we are going to build this project using Viper module. It's a similar approach like I had been using in all the previous tutorials. It's the same. It's uh, going to be Viper modules and uh, it's easy to adapt to any kind of other architectures if you want to actually do it but then i'll focus on creating this using viper and the next thing is uh, as a deviation from the earlier tutorials where i was just focusing on creating just viper modules but not extracting those as uh, a framework so that's what i'm going to do in this series where i'm going to create a, each and every component as a framework so that's the thing we'll focus on. So this list is in this chronological order where I'm just going to take up like first thing is wiper, second thing is uh, frameworks. Third, third thing is that um, how do we build individual modules as framework? So we'll start with uh, uh, the base of it, which is being the window where everything needs to be added, all the views and everything. That will be the window where we'll start with. Then we will have a landing page for this uh, application, which will a sleek looking, um, not so boring one. So that's why I'm going to try to make a landing page. It explains about what this app is all about, just like um, a real time project where you will have a landing page. Then comes a login page where it's also going to be um, looking pretty. So we'll also have a login page where user can enter some uh, details about himself like a username and an email id to join a community chat so this app is all about community chat you will create different uh, community chat and we can also fetch all the existing community chat which some other users have already created and then start joining those so that's the idea behind this application and now we have the landing page login page here. then uh, we will uh, integrate uh, the dependencies because until now i guess uh, with the landing even for the landing page we will require some dependencies so for adding that we will have a dependency manager i used to use uh, um pod um, cocoa pods in earlier uh, all of my projects or tutorial series but then let's try deviating a little bit here and start using Carthage here so i'll use Carthage, which is very much uh, created uh, keeping in mind uh, swift uh, platform so as a language uh, Carthage is built on top of uh, swift itself so you'll, you'll use that then we are going to add some of the dependencies required for this project like uh, this application is built uh, using a service which will be built using node.js socket io and uh, uh, some other stuff like for http you will also be using uh, uh, mongodb so those are things which will come into picture I'm also going to create a Node.js server as well, but if you're just a pure iOS developer, you can skip that part, but then that is also part of this tutorial series. Then you have the Node.js uh, uh, dependency for the iOS side, which is like socket IO client, Starscream, Alamo Fire, all those RX Swift, RX Coco, everything we are going to add uh, as a dependency here. And maybe a realm database or uh, core data because i've been using realm in all, almost all of my tutorials maybe this time around can maybe try out uh, core data so we can try that out in this episode if you we can maybe leave a comment like which one do you prefer whether it's realm or core data you can give me a comment on that and then we also will be creating like i said we are going to create a rest based node.js server I already built it but then for the tutorial sake i'll again create it and show how it is being built and then we are going to also create a node.js uh, socket based uh, server which will actually uh, make this real-time functionality work and um, some other things uh, which we will create is uh, um, then you with using these servers we will fetch all the existing uh, 
chat rooms which is created maybe i have already tested it uh, tested out this application so i have some chat rooms already created so which i can actually fetch and show you in this uh, series so that is that will be part of one of the episodes then you can also create your own chat rooms specific specifying let's say a topic if you're a gamer you can actually create a gaming chat room where people can join and then discuss about things uh something like that so that is more like a public chat room that you're going to create then um uh, there are options also to then we will start integrating uh, the client side of things like uh, you have the socket io base server you also need to have a socket io client side which we will integrate using the socket io client and star screen so that is one also part of this tutorial series then uh, you're going to have uh, features like uh, some of the interesting features like you can real time see participants joining and leaving a chat room as a notification you can start showing that specific so that's interesting and one of the other things that which is pretty much uh, um, available in all of the chat applications these days is uh, who is the user typing or the users typing like you can also show the typing user whether a user is right now typing or not or whether he is able to send a message on all that chatting type notification you can actually um, respond using uh, the socket server so that's also pretty much available right now on the server just that i'll again show how to create even that uh, server side code so along with integration to the client side so that's also interesting uh, for me at least it was interesting then you have options like uh, pretty much what this chat so chat app is all about like sending pure text messages or even sharing file types like uh, images videos pdf document everything you can share across uh, this even location if you want like location contact i'm not going to cover because it's you need to again if if, you, if you're interested let me know i can even take that up with the like last part of the tutorial if you want to even like want to share contacts or something like that so that's also maybe if you want i can cover that otherwise i'm just covering images videos pdf documents and even previewing those in the received end like sharing and received and you need to preview that before showing it so those can also be part of this tutorial series plus um, there there is going to be a push notification um, feature as well as a backup let's say if you are if your web socket is lost or if you're in the background you, after some time your web socket connection will be lost so you need to still receive messages so we need to enable something like a push notification where you can receive messages through push and then navigate back to the application something like that and uh, finally maybe that's a final thing finally i i'm going to also uh, include something like a dark and light theme though those are dark mode is available right now in the application even you can have a custom dark mode or any uh, custom theme applied to the application on so on change how do you actually create that as a module and then use that to um, show different themes in your application that's also part of this tutorial series uh, so that's more what pretty much what the context of whole of this tutorial series is all about i'm not sure about how many episodes it's going to take but then it's going to be a long journey you got to hang in there and uh, understand how it is going to be created uh, and uh, i'll have the tutorial code base made available to the uh, to my uh, patron site and you need to subscribe to have the code access otherwise the tutorial episodes are pretty much free for access with code base you'll have to subscribe for access so that's pretty much what i want to start uh, this tutorial series about i'm going to start with uh, creating the viper modules as frameworks and then i'm going to build the landing page as the login page in the upcoming episode after that we'll start uh, with uh, creating those http rest apis and everything which might not be so much interesting for the ios developer but if you're interested hang in there and watch that episodes as well if not you can directly maybe wait for it and skip to the uh, integration side of things where you start integrating your web sockets using the node.js uh, servers web socket as well as the rest http servers so that's what i'm going to start right now with so let's start with the first episode